my name is Lilith, and before we jump into today's video, I just wanted to say thank you to all the new people that have subscribed. My last video did better than any video I've ever done. I'm I'm blown away with the support and the love and all the new people and all the comments and everything. Thank you guys so much. I never thought that my Chloe Ting hourglass challenge video would do so well, so again, thank you, and in that video, if you haven't seen it, I will leave it in a card and link it below. Go check that out after you watch this video, but in that video, I asked y'all if you wanted a healthy cookie dough recipe, and you guys said yes, so that is what we're here to make today. I'm going to make three different versions of this recipe, and there's so many flavors you could make. These are just three that I'm going to do today. A basic chocolate chip cookie dough, a snickerdoodle, and a chocolate peanut butter. So when I'm referring to healthy recipes and this healthy cookie dough, it is a high carb, low fat recipe with made with whole, real ingredients. And I know some people don't do high carb, but that's what I do. It works for me and that's what these recipes are. So let's jump right into it. These recipes are super easy and they start with the same base and they're all going to be made in a food processor. So for this recipe, you're going to need chickpeas, dates, oats, oat flour, plant milk, almond meal, flaxseed, salt. For the chocolate chip and the snickerdoodle, I'm going to use cashew butter. You can also use almond butter. And for the peanut butter, I'm going to use peanut butter. You'll also need chocolate chips or cacao nibs for the chocolate chip one. Cacao nibs just make it a little bit healthier, but I honestly just prefer chocolate chips because it's not a whole lot. You'll need coconut sugar and cinnamon for the snickerdoodles, and you'll need cocoa powder for the chocolate peanut butter ones. I'm going to set my add-ins aside because we don't need them yet. And I'm going to start by adding everything to my food processor. Make sure you drain and rinse your chickpeas And the reason I'm using oat flour and oats is having some whole oats creates a nice texture. You could also do this recipe without the almond meal, just replacing it with extra oat flour. I just like the way almond meal tastes and I like the texture. cashew butter in this recipe is because it's, it has a really nice neutral and creamy flavor whereas some other nut butters tend to have a very strong flavor that can overtake this recipe and feel free to use whatever your favorite plant milk is right now the only vanilla milk that I can find at the store that's not almond or soy is milkadamia so that's what we've been getting And don't forget to pit your dates. Once all the ingredients are in the food processor, we're going to run it until it forms a dough ball, stopping to scrape it about every minute. dry at first, that's okay. The dates aren't totally chopped up yet and that'll add a lot of stickiness and moisture to it.
All right, that looks pretty good. I'm gonna take this out and separate it into two bowls because we're gonna be turning half of this into chocolate chip and half of it into snickerdoodle. For the chocolate chips, simply mix in your chocolate chips or cacao nibs or another variation on this would be to make a chocolate date sauce, which is just dates, water, and cocoa powder blended up and swirl in as a chocolate sauce. All right, that looks good. And for the snickerdoodle, all you're going to do is mix in your cinnamon. If you were making a whole batch of snickerdoodle, you can put the cinnamon in the food processor at the beginning with everything, but because I split this recipe, I wanted to mix in the cinnamon separately. Now, I typically just make the chocolate chip and then eat it out of the bowl. You can also scoop it into nice little bowls that are easy to grab, perfectly portioned snack or energy bites. For the snickerdoodle, however, I'm going to take a little bit of coconut sugar and mix that with some cinnamon to create our delicious cinnamon sugar coating that every snickerdoodle has to have. together so that I'm not adding too much. Once again, process until the dough starts to come together and scrape the sides about every 30 seconds to minute. Chloe Ting's Slim Thigh Challenge. 
and it's got a lot of abs in it as well and my abs are continuing to firm up and flatten up and I'm very excited and grateful for her for that for providing me an at-home workout that can get me a summer body ready even if we have to stay inside most of summer I'd like to be fit all year round For best results, let this cookie dough sit in the fridge for at least a couple hours, let the flavors marinate together, and the cookie dough will firm up a little bit. But I know it can be really hard to wait. <laughs> like I said, this cookie dough can be made into so many different recipes. Here is just three of my favorites to share with you. But honestly though, I'm a basic bitch and I usually just make chocolate chip. I hope you enjoyed this recipe and make sure to check the description box below for a link to the full recipes, ingredients, instructions, all of that down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I'm posting lots of healthy food inspiration on Instagram. And if you live in Austin, there's an opportunity to order food directly from me. Sometimes this cookie dough is on that menu and I deliver right to your door, contactless delivery healthy plant-based food. Hit that like button if you like this video. Leave me a comment down below what your favorite type of cookie is and I'll create a cookie dough recipe in that flavor and then link it in the description box of this video. It'll be a secret add-on that you'll just have to click and find out. Share this recipe with your friends that have a sweet tooth and need something to curb that craving. Hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you never miss a delicious recipe. And I'll see you all next time. I'm the Vegan Rainbow. Bye, y'all.